And back here in South Carolina, as we brace for the anticipated rainfall, local leaders say now is the time to prepare. Here's Jenna Cruzina. A little bit of water can do a lot of damage. Hurricane Sally is expected to bring heavy rain across the southeast, including South Carolina, with a chance of several inches predicted over the next week. Red Cross Communication Director Ben Williamson says to prepare now. Flooding can be serious. Make sure your homes are prepared. You know, make sure you, you tied things outside uh, that are down. Make sure those are you know tied down. Um, make sure that you've got you know you bring your pets inside. Make sure that there's any hanging trees, uh, any sort of dead trees. Make sure those get taken care of over the next you know 24 to 36 hours. Make sure you've got a, a download our emergency app. Several city officials around the Midlands, including Newberry City Manager Matt DeWitt, say they have already started to clear drains and check out waterways. Unfortunately, a lot of times when you get flooding events, uh, the only thing you have left to do is to wait. Um, sometimes when we have big events, you don't really have problems with your creeks and streams until a day or two later when that water has finally made its way from even further upstate and in North Carolina down to us. The Department of Natural Resources is also asking anyone who owns or operates a dam to lower the water levels now through the next few days for any potential problems caused by heavy rain. What could it hurt to be prepared? Uh, we all would like to think it's never going to happen to me, but in the event that it does, it's always best to be prepared. And if needed, Williamson says the Red Cross will be ready to help in any way they can. If we do have to open any shelters in South Carolina, including there in the Midlands, uh, we've got the volunteers and the staff ready to do that. Um, we've mobilized and have got some uh, materials that are in place both in the upstate and in the central part of the state. If there's any sort of flooding or flash flooding, we'll be able to respond appropriately. In Columbia, Jenna Kurzina, News 19 WLTX. Again, we are expecting all that rain between now and Friday. If you happen to live in flood prone areas. The Red Cross says you may want to prepare now. Get the sandbags to help with water not getting into your home.